Hello everybody, my name is Broxton Ottinger and I am one of the IT support specialists of Case Guard Studio. Today we will be redacting this body worn camera footage video. In this video we will be redacting screens, faces and heads, licenses, and license plates. I will show you a quick and easy way just to make your work speed a bit quicker in Case Guard Studio. But before we begin, everyone please click help at the top of Case Guard, then select about Case Guard Studio. Please ensure that you're on version 9.3.1. This is the most recent version of Case Guard, and this will allow you to have all these new features shown in this video. If you are not on this version, please close this window, select Help once again, and then select Check for Updates. This will allow you to easily update your Case Guard Studio to the most recent version. Before we begin, I like to do a high level overview of my video, so I'm going to drag this blue slider right here through the video just to check what content will need to be redacted. So to begin, we will need to redact his screen right there that he is writing on. Keep dragging the face and head of this individual. The license plate as well. So the screen once again. Okay, this lady right here. And then if her license that she just gave the officer comes into view, we will need to redact that as well. And then right there, we'll need to redact that license. So based on this overview, I believe the AI video will be the best option for this video. Due to so many different objects having to be redacted, we can redact them all at once, quick and easy. So to begin, I'm going to go to my left toolbar and select AI video. From here, I'm going to select what I need redacted. So faces and heads, screens, license plates, and notepads, just for those uh, licenses that we see. Then we're going to go ahead and select next. Here we're going to go ahead and shape, select our effect. So we're going to select adapt blur. And then here we're not going to fill in any of these redaction reasons, but please know you can add redaction reasons if needed. Go ahead and select next. Here we'll do the same, adaptive blur. And I do want to mention the adaptive blur is a bit different than a normal blur. It will adapt based on the lighting of the video. So it will adjust that blur level automatically. Here we go. Adaptive Blur once again, next, Adaptive Blur, perfect, and we're going to do the whole file, but please note you can select the range if needed, perfect, no audio redaction for this, and then here in this advanced options window, we'll leave classify objects checked, so this will classify the objects into different categories so we can easily unredact if needed. We will leave the body one camera option checked since this is a body one camera video. Next, we'll leave the confidence level at 20%. And if these are common, and if this is a common use case you need to redact, you can always save this as a template so you can easily apply these to any future videos. And we'll go ahead and select next. And if needed, you can always schedule this for later. For example, if it's a long video and you want to have it processed when you leave the office. And then we'll go ahead and select apply. And at the bottom right, we can see the progress of the automatic detection. We can see the objects it's finding beginning to appear in our object detection panel. And on the video timeline, we can also see this yellow bar that it's beginning to populate. So I will go ahead and let this continue processing, and I will come back when it is finished. Okay, our AI is just about to finish, but I do want to mention you can always apply redactions while the AI is running. I just wanted to wait since we did add a feature recently in this version that automatically applies remove flickering, which will fill any dropped frames that the AI may have missed with redactions so that you don't have to do all that manual work. So we'll go ahead and begin playing this video, and we'll be using object tracking in the manual video tool to fill any frames or make any adjustments that the AI may have missed. So we'll go ahead and play this video using our spacebar. And we can see it did get that screen right there. Perfect. And we'll just continue watching and looking for any issues that may occur. Perfect. And we can see that the AI is still redacting that screen even though his hand is in the way. And we can see it did drop that one frame. So using my left arrow key, I'm going to go back a few frames. And we can see that it did miss these frames. So I'm going to keep using my left arrow key to go back. And I'm just going to left click and drag an object tracking box over this. And if I left click and hold, it'll leave it as a manual box. And now I will use my right arrow keys to go a few frames forward to fill these frames to where the AI reappears. And now I will right click and 
select delete forward and this will delete this box from the future frame so it doesn't reappear. I'll go ahead and play the video again with my spacebar and we'll continue watching looking for any issues like that one. We'll go ahead and mute this audio and it did catch this lady's face and same with this license plate. And right there, it did drop it, but we're not able to make out that license plate, so we're not going to worry about it right now. Okay, perfect. AI is doing great right now, getting this license plate. No worries here. And you can see it did catch the lady's reflection on some of those frames and made sure she was fully redacted still. Same with the officer right there. Perfect, and it did catch the screen as soon as he got back into the car. We can't see the bottom of the screen here, but there's no PII exposed, so we will leave it unredacted. Perfect, and it did have a little bit of extra redaction here, so we can easily right-click this and select Disable, and it won't reappear. Perfect still has her redacted and it is already redacting her insurance card protecting her PII even when it came across the screen right there perfect and we can see it catching her screen some but there's nothing showing on her screen so we will leave it redacted and unredacted it looks like she's about to give the officer the license so we'll make sure that is redacted when it comes into frame Yep, and it is redacted here, so we don't have to worry about that. And we can see our license appearing a little bit. And we'll keep watching and make sure that stays redacted. It is getting her screen, so if there is any PII, that has been protected. Okay, let's keep watching. And we can kind of see her license plate here. So I'm going to go to the very first frame. Alright, and it did miss it here, so now I'm going to use my right arrow keys and just track it. I can use the object tracking or the manual tool. And we can see that the object tracking is doing a great job grabbing that license plate and keeping it redacted. Yep, perfect. And we can see that it picked it back up, so we can easily right click this and select delete forward. And we'll go ahead and play the video and keep a lookout for any time that may reappear. And this is an extra redaction right here, so we'll go ahead and disable it. Yep, perfect. Okay. We can see it is catching the license plate. It is catching these. Think of these are license plates, so we'll easily right click and disable those. Perfect. And it is still redacting both of them, and it's doing a great job right now. It is redacting this phone because it is a screen. And it's also catching this as a notepad. Perfect. We can't see any PII, even though it is a little bit in the screen. AI is still doing a great job grabbing that. Perfect. And we couldn't see any PII there, so we're not going to over-redact it. Perfect. Perfect. And we can go ahead and disable this large redaction. So we're going to right click and select disable. Perfect. An officer is now returning to his car. Can't see any PII currently on that screen, so we're not going to redact it. And it is catching it now, so we don't have to worry about that. And now that our video is finished, we can export it. So we're going to go to the very top right of our screen and select this blue export button. We'll leave the file name the same, but you can change the name if needed. And you can also schedule this for later if it's a long video. So we're going to select export. We're going to allow this video to export. It should be fairly quick. But I'm going to let it finish and I will return when it is done. Alright, it looks like our video has finished exporting and we can see it in our project files panel. 
it'll be titled new and we'll go ahead and select it and watch through it and just make sure everything is redacted and it looks great okay perfect and I'm just going to skim through it with the blue slider here so we can make sure everything's redacted fully perfect okay go ahead and pause this and mute the audio and I'll keep skimming through it just to make sure everything looks good and we can see everyone is redacted and their privacy is ensured and this looks great happy redacting